Do you want to know how to make some custom loader screens that look like this? Oh, no, you want to you want to look like this. No, like this. Nah, it's definitely like this. <laughs> so if you want to know how to make custom loader screens, then you should just go ahead and keep on watching. Also, don't be afraid to go over to my Patreon and check out all of these loading screens that you just seen um, because they're free, girl. They free. So check them out. So let's get into the video. And popularity, I'm still fing boss, so it's a burden. Everything I serve it like a bird, like Russian, Dutch, and German. So they make me nervous in that Tuesday wagon 22. What is up, oh my guys and goddesses, and welcome back to the channel where it's been nothing but love, positivity, and happiness. And that's on what that is on period, my good sis. And in today's video, I will be showing you guys the long awaited video by me, which is how to make custom loading screens. As you guys know, I make custom loading screens and they are absolutely amazing to me and I get a lot of support on them and I appreciate everybody who has given me so much support on my custom loading screens because I work so hard, okay? I'm just gonna be completely honest. I do what I can for you guys, but some, I mean, obviously you're gonna see today that it's not as much work if you're not doing a custom made one, but if you're doing like some of the ones that I do, um, then it takes a lot, a little bit more effort, but that's fine. I'm gonna show you quickly how I make some of my loading screens. It's not gonna be the best. But um, we're going to try. So we're going to start off with um, what programs you're going to use to be able to make this. It's only two. Um, and yeah, there's only two things you're going to have to download for this process. So let's go ahead and get to that. The first thing you're going to need to download is the JPEX decompiler. If you guys hear some noise, I'm sorry in the background. <sighs> People are outside. But um, yes, it's the JPEX decompiler. And basically when it comes up, it's going to look like this. And you're going to just install the installer windows now mine is not up to date but you need the version 11.2.0 for it to be up to date so you're just going to click this and it's going to start downloading and boobity boobity bap, okay boobity boobity bap. and then the next thing you're going to need is going to come up like this in the mod the sims thing and you're just going to click on this little link right here this github link but you're going to download the s4pe version 0.6.0 and to download this, you're just going to click this one right here. This little box thing right there. And it's just going to download like normal. And you're going to have to put it in a folder. So like you're just going to have to um, create a new folder like that, uh, which to create a new folder, if you don't know how to create a new folder on your desktop, which I so normally I go to my documents because that's where I have all my loading screen stuff here. And this is everything dedicated to me making my loading. What you're going to do is you're need you're going to need templates. This is the way to make it easier for you. Um, you can use some of the loading screens I have already created and just download those and use those as your templates if you want to. Um, cause that's normally what I do. I just use all my old loading screens as templates for this because I said I have all my loading screens backed up. So not worry about it. Not worry about losing. Them. <laughs> so basically what you want to do is you want to get a bunch of uh loading screen templates depending on how many you want to make at a time um but i'm only making one so to do to make the loading screen basically you're going to go to s4 pe and you're going to try to find it when it looks like this i'm gonna try to blow it up but it's gonna be kind of small but this little s4 pe thing right here you got the little plumb bob or something right there and you're gonna double click it and it's gonna appear and you're gonna hit file you're gonna hit open then you gotta go to where i said those templates are wherever you get your templates or wherever you end up putting your templates you're gonna go ahead and get a template i'm gonna use my street aesthetic loading screen template or well, use that as my template and i'm gonna hit it and highlight it basically i just left click it so it can highlight one time that's all i did and then you're going to right click and you're going to export the file you're gonna export to file and you're gonna just export it right here on your documents folder or wherever you want to i tend to do it on my documents uh it's just what comes up and this is from an old one but if you have something like this you're just gonna hit save and you're gonna say do you want to replace it yes just that simple now that we're at this step we're gonna leave this alone for now we're gonna go ahead and go to the other app that i told you to download which is jpex free flash decompiler we're gonna double click that and bring that up we're gonna bring that on up mm -hmm. and we're gonna hit no to all this is gonna say something you just gonna hit no to all gonna ignore it and this is how you see what picture you have in there it's gonna come up right here now to change the picture you're just gonna go to images double click it this will come down you'll hit 
this defined bits losses you'll hit replace and then you're gonna go and find where you put your picture like wherever you put that aesthetic clouds picture or whatever picture you use find that now i have a folder like i said dedicated to it and it's in my documents folder and it's new load pics and like this is where naming it came in handy because sometimes i'll do this and it'll look like this and i'll be like what the fuck is that i don't remember that and then i have to keep going through all of them and trying to figure it out so yes pink anesthetic clouds hit open and boom girl you changed it you changed it honey it's a brand new lotus point at this point now you're gonna just hit save and i like to hit save twice just to make sure i saved it correctly because you never know these days sometimes you'll be like oh i thought i saved don't hit save as just hit save you're gonna exit this out because you're done with that you're done with that program that's over you're gonna go back to the s4pe program so that's why you don't like knock it down or anything you're just gonna leave it where it is and you're gonna right click the open space here you're gonna hit import this time because we overrided that file so we want to import it back in here so from file and you're gonna hit the exact same file that you put there or wherever you put it you're gonna click it you're gonna hit open you're gonna ignore everything in this. Ignore every little bit in this. And you're gonna hit okay. As you see, it's gonna cross out the first one because it's basically like, that's not what it is anymore. So yeah, and it's gonna be whatever's highlighted. And you're gonna hit file, you're gonna hit save. And now it's only one because it canceled the other one out. And that's literally the loading screen. You have a new loading screen. Gonna go back to your templates and rename it to whatever you want to rename it. I'm gonna name it what I named it earlier, pink aesthetic. Your girl can't spell clouds. Hit enter, and it is now uh this particular loading screen. You have made a loading screen, my girl, my guy. Liddy in the city. Now to make I'm not gonna make a whole new loading screen because I don't want this video to be too long, it's unnecessary. I showed you how to make it into a loading screen. Now, basically how I make my custom loading screens, you need to hit, you need to, I go to Canva to do mine. You can do this on any program you want. So you can do it on GIMP, you can do it on Photoshop, you can do it wherever you want to do it. I just use Canva because it's easier for me and I know what I'm doing on there. Now, these are some of the ones that I have made and I have made this collage personally, which making a collage is not a difficult task. I mean, unless you're a professionist like me. <laughs> But it's not a difficult task you just get pictures from everything that you want and put it here but this is one of the little screens i have made um this one with the 2000 shows i have also made on canva my 90s cartoons one um my uh black beauty one all of these are collages that i've made but of course i've also made other custom ones with sims in it that i'm going to show you right now so i made this one for nini's planet a long time ago and honestly one of my favorite ones i'm just gonna be completely honest but yes you can make some with sims using canva i have made this one using canva and all i did was like like take out the background but that's a whole nother lesson with canva so you definitely should like look into canva if you want to use canva i have canva pro or whatever the thing that i pay for um, so that I can have all the features and fonts and things like that. But it's basically just you blurring out the background of the sim. I mean, not blurring it out, but like, you know, extracting them from the background and then making your own background. And I did this for Nini's Planet and it's my favorite one. And I want it in my game. If her name wasn't on it, I would want it in my game. But yes, I made this one for Meet Game. So the plumb bomb normally goes here with the words. And that's why her name and stuff is like right there. Um, I try to keep their name either above or below um, just to help out. This is one I made for myself when my name was Sim Goddess. So that's that. Mine was pretty simple. Um, and this is one I made for a girl named Cosmic Sims. Um, one of the first couple of ones I have ever made. And still to this day, I'm a fan. And you can check these out on my Twitter if you guys like. Just follow me on Twitter. Goddess was Goddess underscore Sim. But yeah. But basically, y'all, that is literally the end of the video, my loves. Like, that is literally it. Oh, wait, I, I know y'all probably want me to show y'all how it looks in game. So I'm going to do that. So basically, to put it in your game, you're going to go to your mods folder. So you're going to go to documents, go to your electronic arts, the Sims 4 mods. Um, I took out most of my mods and stuff so that this didn't take too long. <laughs> 
So, um, and then you're just gonna drop, drop your loading screen in your mods folder. Don't put it in no extra folders. Don't do none of that extra stuff that y'all be trying to do. Leave it alone and just drop it in there. Okay, leave it, just drop it in there. Don't be extra. That's what be messing y'all up. Y'all be extra. Just drop it in there. That's it. And then that's then you're gonna load up your game like normal. Literally, you're just gonna load up your game like normal. And you only can have one in here at a time. Don't you put more than one in it, and your game gonna be freaking shaking like a stripper. And then you're gonna be like, Why well, my game don't work? You broke my game. No, you broke your game. You broke your game. Then nobody else break your game but you. Because you're doing stuff that nobody told you to do. For real. And honestly, y'all, if y'all follow every step I just did, y'all will get it. It's going to be super easy to you. It's going to be like clockwork for you to be able to do this. Now, I do hope that y'all still try to download some of mine. They're always free. So um, I'd appreciate it if y'all still supported your girl. But if you want to make your own honey boo boo child, make your own honey boo boo child. Okay. Okay. But while we patiently wait for my games to just say hello to us, I want to go ahead and say, don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, but look at the little screen. We cutie. We cute. It's simple. It's cute. It's period. Make sure you comment down below if y'all want me to do one of these uh, tutorials for our creative sim background, because I know I make those too. But definitely make sure y'all give this video a big fat thumbs up. I will only do the creative sim video. I mean, creative sim background video. If I get at least 200 to 300 views on this video. So let's try to get this bitch popping. Um, <laughs> and like the same amount of likes. That's the only reason I'm going to do this video. Do that creative some background video. If I don't get that energy, then baby, we not doing it. Okay, I'm just letting y'all know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Also, don't forget to check out my Twitch channel. I stream on Twitch every Monday and Friday. And we be litty in the mother freaking city over there. I mean, we be having so much fun. On Mondays, I stream Sims, and on Fridays, I stream whatever game I feel is necessary. Lately, it's been Dead by Daylight and um, Apex, but yeah, it's very interactive. We have some awesome channel points we ought to check out. Um, so come on over here. Also, don't forget to follow my TikTok and my Instagram because I post the most on there. And uh, follow my Twitter for updates and things like that. But with that being said, my loves, I will check you guys out in the next video or live stream. And I love you guys so much. Bye. My haters give me clarity and popularity. I'm still f***ing boss. It's a burden. Everything I serve it like a bird. Like Russian, Dutch, and German.